Education is what remains after one has forgotten what one has learned in school. <laughs> Our teacher is keen told us that last year. I think she said it to inspire us. Didn't half make me think we're wasting our time, though. No. Your teacher's not the one who said that. No? No. Albert Einstein, he's the one who said that. Yeah. But Miss Keane's the one what said it to us. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you looking forward to tomorrow? Yeah. Kind of am. Miss her? <laughs> are you drunk? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I suppose so. Uh... Oh, I might be sick. <laughs> right. Uh, careful. <laughs> Good, good, yeah. What have you been doing? Fine. No, no, no. Look, here's your bag. Oh, yeah. thanks. Come on. Don't forget your blanket, Nana. I don't want to get my legs cold. <laughs> Thank you. You ready? Yep. Naz. Oh, you're up early, Nana. Yeah, I've got the good at post office. Raz. Are you here, Les? We're all right. Oh. Light, mate. Well, would you look at that? It's like opening time at visa section. Morning! Morning, baby. <laughs> Have a nice day. Benefits, <laughs> Right, girls, I'll see you. Have a nice day. Ta-ra, love, take care. See you later. Today, two completely segregated schools start a new life together. This is Ackley Bridge College. A new school with a new attitude. Ackley Bridge is one of the most divided communities in the UK. Whites and Asians live side by side, but in totally different worlds. We're in worlds? Worlds? Experiences with totally different experiences. Stick your chest out. Stick my chest out? Yeah, you like that, won't you? No, I mean for confidence. I am confident. I know you're confident, but you don't look confident. You're making me nervous, you. Just go and see if Sadiq's here. Sadiq? What do you need him for? I mean, I'm helping you. Right, yes, because you know all about public speaking, don't you, with all your PE and that? Oh, thank you, love. You are so kind to me. No, thank you. That whole chest thing, really useful. Could you use that all day? I think it's useful. How are we feeling, Mrs Carter? Mr Carter? Mr Bell. Oh, I do like a man who keeps his name. Sorry, Mr Bell. So, do you want to go through your speech? What if I just want to surprise you? No, no, definitely no surprises. <laughs> and did I say all that? Do you mind introducing yourself to fourth gear? give people's intimate details of your own life, sir. You might get trolled. And believe me, this town's troll heaven. Really? Oh, thanks for the heads up, girls. I'll bear that in mind. Posh car for a teacher, that, sir. Is it? On your salary. <gasps> Miss Keen! <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Hey! You're you been? Good, how are you? Hello. Yeah. Missy Booth in school. How's your mum? Uh, how are you? Just wishing I hadn't dropped out last year. I'm gonna be in class with my little sister now. You had a tough time. I'm glad you came back. I give you a hug if only the school had let me and I weren't already in trouble. How come you're in trouble? Because I'm late and I'm wearing flip flops. Oh. And I have to let you know how proud I am of this team and all the work that we've done so far. 
Um, but today, today is our chance to prove us. I know it's a long shot, but does anyone have a spare pair of shoes? <laughs> um, that we, that today is the day that we prove ourselves to the kids and to the community, uh, both of which are equally important to me and this school, I think, to all of us. That's it, really. It's, um, it's your day. Uh, if you haven't introduced yourselves to each other... Sammy! Uh, ...and do it. Uh, I've got these... Just a what are you doing here? Are you a teacher? No, of course I'm not a teacher. I'm a community liaison. <laughs> I'm not with this. Sorry, good luck, everyone. Oh, for you. <laughs> Why didn't you give me back? I'm just surprised to see you this one. You're surprised? This is my town. Where have you been? I haven't seen you for years. I like your shoes. <laughs> You're not pleased to see me? Uh, I am. It's nearly 8.30. Flights and that. I got stuck. Right, so you weren't at inset day. You don't reply to your emails. And what, what is that? What is that with the feet? My backpack got nicked. Getting emergency documents isn't easy, man. Um, it's Mrs Carter now. I am the head teacher. All right, all right. Go on down. You knew I'd be here. Backpacking. Come on. I've got to go. I'll see you later. <laughs> Not your school, it's our school. All right, settle down here, Eleven. Settle down, please. Excuse me. I'll just wait till you finish then, shall I? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Mr. Bell. And... <laughs> oh, very good. Right, when I point to yous, I want you to shout your names loud and proud. Go. Early Booth. Razia Paracha. Mr. Booth. Like it. Go. Tahira Abad. Very good. Zayn. Zayn Yunus. <laughs> Name? Abdullah bin Kevin. Yo! Are you stupid? Hey, you're mad! <laughs> Sit down, please. You you turn on. Are you? Are you? you lot on steroids? Sit down. Please. All right, Jocko, what's your real name? Is my real name I'm a revert? Pervert more like. Who will take the mic. His name is Jordan Wilson and he's a wind-up. All right. Jordan Wilson wind-up. Good morning, students. Year 11, 12 and 13 assembly in the main hall. We'll commence in 10 minutes. Today is the day when two completely segregated schools, Stanley Nunn High School and St Jerome Community College, start a new life together. We will not require improvement. We will not settle for good. Together, we can be outstanding. Thank you, Mrs Carter. Hello, Ackley Bridge. For those of you who don't know me, I am the school sponsor, Sadiq Nawaz. Me and Mrs Carter have worked closely together in the planning of this merger school and have made an effort to delve deeper into one another's cultures. Ooh la la! <laughs> Over the summer, Mrs Carter accompanied myself and some of the governors on a trip to Pakistan. Pakistan! <laughs> she does a lot of things. <laughs> we hope our friendship can be an example to this school and to you all. What are you smiling for? Don't encourage you. <laughs> you 
the last one on the other side of your face when you get in there. If it were another kid, an Asian kid, would you be letting him back in? Was it stupid? Yes. Is he a wind-up? Yes. But since when do we give up on kids that easily, eh? Isn't this a matter for the board? You know what? A school sponsor doesn't actually get to decide who stays in school and who doesn't. Nor does the PE department. <laughs> Jordan Wilson is just... He's what? You don't know the kid, right? What are you trying to help him out for? I'm not trying to help him out. I'm trying to make the school work like you and... like you. He thinks we're going to fail. He thinks this place is a joke. That's what that was about. Let's not give him what he wants. Send him home for the rest of the day. Tell him he's on report, reporting to you, mind, Steve. And I want a meeting tomorrow with Prevent. Get Mr Qureshi to set that up. You just can't help yourself, can you? Come on. Um, this your dad, yeah? Yeah, I'm his dad. Jordan, come on. Mr Wilson, I've got five minutes if you want to talk about anything. What's there to talk about? I'll deal with him. I do. I have to ask twice now. Come on, Jordan. Come in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. I must integrate. Please do apologise. Yeah. That was one of us be arrested by now. You just don't get it. I'll just leave it now. I'll see you suddenly all over it. I just don't understand what you are about it. Lads. Lads, lads, lads. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Miss me? Yes, sir. Seppi. Hello, boys. I'm Mr. Simpson. Mr. Simpson, he's new. Tryouts are all on Mr. Simpson today, so. All right. Uh, well, before we go up to the pitch, who usually picks teams? I was captain at my old school. Same. Well, go for it, then. Oh, I really don't think that's a good idea. Zane. Jake. I'm in. Dan. Mo. Neil. Wakar. Harry. Hamza. Luke. Habib. Ronnie. Nahail. James. Ismail. Adam. Asaf. Joel. Aman. Sean. Abdullah. Sweet. Actually, before we start... Morning, class. Morning, Morning Miss Carter. I was just doing my rounds. Do you mind if I observe for a bit? Yeah, absolutely. Grab a seat. We're just drafting up a class contract. Who wants to share with Miss Carter one of their clauses? Hayley Booth. No homework on Fridays. <laughs> I won't dream of ruining your weekends. I love mine. Yeah, let it be written. Anywhere. Anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm trying to promote originality. Imaginative interpretation. Stuff that gets you all the way to level 10. Razia. Well, I don't want any books written by white dead men. With you there, kid. But unfortunately, that's 99% of our reading list. Miss Carter, any thoughts? I'm sure your syllabus is, is full of diverse and dynamic texts. Mm. Tell you what, we give them a go. And if we can't find anything that speaks directly to your lives, we've been them. Really, miss? Agreed, Miss Carter? Mum! Finally! Oh. Chloe? I've been trying you, like, all day. Answer your phone. <laughs> the kid's a racist. Come on, man. Loosen up. I thought it was funny. Why are you selling bacon crisps? Hmm? We can't eat here, bro. Uh, they sell them at the bloody Lidl as well, and your mum's always shopping there. They're not being near a bloody pig. Do I get free stuff, Mrs. Paracha? Do I look like charity? You're no refugee, you know. Hey, okay. Use the fitter with the braces. 
Um, that is Alia's twin. Don't worry. I don't go out with schoolboys. We're like real men, don't we, Naz? <clears throat> Gonna go to the sick form hub. You come in, Naz. Yeah, Mira will be there. <laughs> I haven't had a love on me. It'll settle your tummy. Are you ready to tell me what's going on? Dad threw me out. Said it wasn't working. Chose Eve over me, Mum. So I've got an Uber here. An Uber? From Beckham? You, uh, you know, um... Eve's pregnant. What? Yeah. No warning, just meet your blob of a sibling. There's literally no room for me there. My room's gonna be a nursery. So. <laughs> I'll sort it. Call your dad. Get you back down to London. Back in a minute. She's had a fallout with her dad. Uh, she's up from London. She doesn't normally do this. Right, can we talk about your work? Have you got a problem with my work? <laughs> I think you've got issues with authority. <sighs> Power's gone to your head. You're talking about throwing the classics in the bin. It's day one. Get their attention. Right. Give me some credit. You want their attention? Hit them with facts. One in three kids from this town fails GCSE English. Although you'd know that if you've been to the inset day. She can't stay here in that state. In here. We've got a coffee machine, which is impressive and everything, but it's still school. From your age, don't worry. You just all got to be dead to me because you passed your exams and that. It weren't her fault. She, she's an eye year really. She just got a retake. <laughs> Thank you, Nasri. Dead sweet. Uh, Miss Booth, good to see you in uniform for another year. Mm, got a thing for it, have you? You'd be so lucky. <laughs> Teachers, we're well pleased to see me talking to you all. Isn't that the point in this school to make us all friends? You're real nice, you. Loving your friends now is not prejudiced or nothing. Please. <laughs> Just a bitch then. Miss here. What? <sighs> it's half the support. She's all right, you know, you just got to give her a chance. Nas, drop the country. <laughs> That's really rude. Calm down. Look, if you want to play with your go mate, we're not stopping oh you. God. Emma? There's a bunch of us going for a meal later at the pub, if you fancy it. <sighs> I'll be on Chundra alert. I heard. <laughs> Is anyone not? Come later if she crashes out. Everyone's going, right? Yeah. Might do. See ya. See ya. See ya. Take away tonight. Oh, I've got to stay back late. It's budget stuff with Sadiq. I know, things will settle down soon, all right? There's a few of them going for a bite to eat there. Will you get them in around for me? But it's not them I want to see. I know. I'll be back as soon as I can. Mm. Stop kissing my butt. I mean, uh, why? I like it. It's your dad. Oh, he's just gonna have a go. 
Not picked up your calls all this time? No. Oh, then let him ring. Let him wonder where I am. He doesn't... Nick! About time. What the hell do you think you're doing? Chloe's here in bits because of you. Of well, course she's upset. What? Don't listen to him, he's a liar. She did? But it's not like he said. OK, I'll call you back. She tripped. Tripped? You don't understand. They were waiting for me when I came in. So pleased with themselves with this stupid scan photo saying I'm selfish for not being happy for them. So you attack her? She came over, all, all hands over me, so I just pushed her off. Unbelievable! Mum, she tripped. She's not, she's not hurt or anything. <sighs> Stay out of my sight, Chloe. I'm going out. Well, no, Mum, believe me. You're lying. You lied to me before, and you're doing it again. I didn't. And now you expect me to stay in and nurse you through your hangover? Forget it, Chloe. Well, I'm going to go home, then. I'll book an Uber. Again. I'll even try it. I'll do what I want. Forget it, Chloe! Your phone's in here with me. He's ready. Oh, oh my God! I've seen this. Miss King's boots. She must have been hacked. Do not share that. I was school with all that new lot then. Oh, Jordan Wilson insulted half the school. Jordan? Well, that, that's not Muslim, is it? Why are you up there? It's mum. Oh, mum, not again. You'll have to chuck that duvet. Don't know where she's been or what she's been using. Where are you going? Got to see if all my stuff's still there. Where am I? You're home, mum. My missy. Best girl. Dinner's getting cold down here. Is the food going? Nana can't know you're right here. What's the problem? I'm clean. <laughs> Next door, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that, you! <laughs> hey, Steve, did you go to Pakistan in summer? No, no, Mandy, she wouldn't let me. But she's only the governors and that, so I can understand it. Can't believe you let him take her away with no supervision. Supervision? Well, hey, just saying. Someone told me Sadiq runs a mattress company because he's bedded half the women in the valley. <laughs> oh, OK. Anyone for pudding? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing Grace, Nana. I've got to sing it. Well, it's just about to start. I'm... I'm not gonna know if I've won it now. I've got to do it for my assembly. Assembly? What are you on about? I just want your feedback. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. So the door's locked. Now has got the key. Out the back. You know 
you have to stop. They're too young to be dealing with all this. Oh, what? Uh, it's good job there isn't man in this house. You know, they wouldn't allow you through the state that you're in. Oh, God, have you seen this? <laughs> oh, don't show people that. It's all over the internet. They have a right to know. I'm sure she didn't put it up. What's she doing with a photo like that? Why are you judging? Sound like friends. Have you got a problem with them? They've got a problem with me. Is it? I know Alia can be a bit, like... A bit what? Why don't you just turn it down a bit? That way, you know, she won't have anything to moan about. Where did you think I'd gone? To Burnley, to work for your uncle. Yeah, I went to Burnley to work for my uncle. Come on, I thought you were smart. Oh, yeah, smart me, smart. You see, my kid? <laughs> I didn't mean that, I didn't. I was just really young. It didn't take you long to get over me then, did it? I you had to find Alice to get over me. Oh, you heard that, did you? <sighs> Better go. It's Chloe's in there. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for the lift. It's all right. Night. <laughs> I could have had an extra hour in bed. Sorry. I'm not your until 10. All right. Well, what do you want me to do? Drive home drunk? I was being responsible. You don't sound that responsible. You was out all night drinking in school. You was out all night drinking with... with Sadiq. You worry too much. Please don't make me go in. Mum, please, my temperature is over 40. I know, because you put your thermometer next to your cup of tea. Ignore him. Do you have to work today? Pull us a key. Let's do something together, me and you. I can't just sack off work. Please. I know, you don't want to be here. But you can't stay at home watching telly, Chloe. It's GCSE year, you've got to keep up. So why don't you get comfy? And why don't you lose yourself out on the wily, windy Mars? I'll be back. A break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm 
If this is how she's gonna engage us this year, because I'm up for that. <laughs> What lies underneath it all? Adults content, miss. You need a warning sticker. Can you see it? Come on. Miss, miss. You been on Twitter? No. Miss Keane. Do you always post your holiday photos online? I don't understand. Have you not got a password on your phone? Do you leave your phone out in class? <laughs> My bloody daughter. I mean, I've, I've had parents ringing me. I've even had staff coming in here. Ooh! I've told them where to go. I've got a governor's meeting tonight, and no doubt this will come up. I mean, I already had to talk about Jordan Wilson now this. The governor's? You're joking? No, I'm not. Oh. What are you playing at? What do you think you've done? I didn't know how to take it down. This is my job! This is my life here, in this town. You think it's funny? Humiliating me? Trying to get me sacked? You're not sacked, are you? Just go home! What were you feeling, Jordan? Now, we heard that you talked about being a revert. Are you interested in Islam? Are you joking? You previously went to a predominantly white... Well, that don't make me racist, does it? No. No, no one's saying anything like that. What were you thinking, anyway? I didn't mean not buy it, I was just trying to make, make a point. And what point was that? Well, that I'm a racist. He doesn't mean that. And that we're about Muslims, aren't it? Trying to get them before they get us. Is that what you really think, Jordan? It's not about what I think, is it, sir? It's about what you think. That's what counts, isn't it? It's going right down. Jordan Wilson's a racist. That's exactly what I'll be. We're a joke. I'm not saying she's a bad person or anything. Oh, good, cos she's not. Come on, Naz, though. The way that she dresses, the way she talks. What? What? The way she talks to boys and that. It's embarrassing. She embarrasses herself. Yeah, I mean, don't make this some race or Islam thing or anything. Well, I'm not. I mean, she's just got no respect for herself. Who would want to hang out with someone like that? Genuinely, would you? God, look at the state of her. Nazreen! You know her? You all right? Who let her in school? Hey, you should see bruise I got from last night, look. Last night? Naz! Naz, love! Oops, <laughs> Mum, get off! Mum? Mum? Fender's a fiver, will you, love? Shrubby. What, a gundry? Her mum's the gundry. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Imagine having a mum like that. Why is he still here? No one wants him here. So he's right. You were teaching now, Zane, because he's been dealt with, so just sit yourself oh down, eh? Oh, my God, Zane, get over yourself. Man's a racist. Zane, stop it. You're being selfish. Everyone's trying to get on with... See what I mean? Are you being real, kid? That's not even cool, that, just after I've stuck up for you and all. Take it off now. Why? You're not a Muslim. Take it off no, now. No, I'm uh, uh, remember. Off. Nick. He can't touch you, Jordan. But I can't! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oi! Listen, you look, stay here. Anyone leaves this classroom, you're all on report. Jordan! Excuse me. Jordan will serve you. Excuse me. Jordan. Excuse me. Excuse me, Jordan. Jordan! Come here. Get off me. What are you doing? Did you just pull the scarf off? Be stupid. It's 
sorry. Have some respect. The poor girl is mortified. Steve, what were you thinking? You said you'd take care of this kid. And I will, Mandy. Can you not say that I'm dealing with it? I'm trying to deal with it. Just, just lay off. Lay off? I'm your boss here. Here and everywhere else, it seems. Sadiq, <sighs> ask what would happen. What? What'd you say? What would happen, you know, if I had to bollock you or pull rank? And I swore it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, well, Sadiq should be minding his own business, shouldn't he? And he's wanting to talk about marriage. I mean, he's bedded half the valley. Apparently. What has that got to do with you? Unless you're impressed. <sighs> Look, without Sadiq, we wouldn't have this school. I wouldn't have this job, and you oh, wouldn't. Oh, have... yeah, good for him. Yeah, let's all be grateful to Sadiq because you've certainly been showing him how grateful you are, haven't you? Oh, my. Eh? Wow. That's what last night was all about, isn't it? No, last night. I don't even want to know, Mandy. Right, yeah. Because I'm the one that messes about. Just find Jordan Wilson. You find Jordan Wilson. Hello, Ackley! Hello, Ackley! What do we all think of Atley Bridge College then? <laughs> Are we gonna roll over? Yes, sir. No, sir. Thank you, sir. Get in class! I think they can keep us quiet with just a lick of paint and some crap about learning to live together. We all know that Atley Bridge is nothing but a left for dead town with food banks, mass heads and pram faces. What are you all looking at? It don't matter if you're white or Asian. There's no jobs for us, we're all going nowhere. We, we're the immigrants, the benefits scroungers. If you're white, you're racist. And if you're Asian, you don't belong. Get up and open the door. You can just forget where we come from. We're all stuck here. All of us. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get in. Give it here. Give it here. You sod. <laughs> Yellow. Nazreen! What, you're just gonna stand there and not say oh? Yes, sir, I'm sorry. You what? Well, then not call her every name going. Slag, nasty, junkie, my mum! Treated her like she was scum. Go on, Mrs. Smacker! I know that before! You act like you barely know me. Two days in this school, and you're so worried about the girls in here jumping here. Not missing them, my mates. You don't know them like I don't know your mates. It's not my fault that you got held back here, is it? Oh! Missy, what are you doing? Oh, like you don't know how to fight back? Oh, oh, because you're so perfect. You're so good. You're such a good little woman. You've been writing with that law. You were out drinking with me in town not two nights ago with, with the Cutty, with the Gora. <laughs> We don't feel sorry for ourselves, and I don't want the teacher phoning me again. I am 
I'm not having that boy ruin this place before we've even got going. I know something's going on. I've seen the way that he looks at you. <sighs> after everything that's happened today, like after the way you've let me down, all you can talk about is whether I'm sleeping with Sadiq. Why is it important to respect other people's beliefs and cultures? At least two pages. And we're going to stay here until I say we're done. I'll make tea. Proper like. Use the oven and everything. What? Dad's on his way up from London to take you home. And I thought, we can sit down and have a chat about what's really going on. With you. If you want to. But you hated me. I thought I was a right bitch. Oh, you are. No denying that, but that's all your father says. It's not to do with me. Oh, I can't tell if you're joking. You can't tell if I'm joking. <laughs> that's probably because I'm so used to you being cruel to me. That threw me out. You abandoned me last night. But I think it's fair to say you got me back for that. <laughs> you can't wait for half term, though. We'll go away. I'll book a surprise. And then I'll take loads of really embarrassing photos of you. <laughs> Time's up, Jordan. <sighs> Don't play games, just give it to me. Put half as much effort into your GCSEs, you're going to be laughing. <laughs> do you um, do you like drawing? Because this this is really good, Jordan. Well, do you reckon? Do you reckon I could get into art school with that, sir? Do you reckon there's a whole world waiting for me, sir? Give me that sheet you tore out. No. You know I've looked bad enough trying to stick up for you today. Enough now. Give it to me. Why oh, are you sticking up for me, sir? Sorry, I had no idea. No one's actually taken any interest in me before, have they? Shut up. If you're gonna have a fallout with your missus, sir, don't do what I can hear. I've had enough. I've had enough of you. Come on. You don't touch me! You do not lay your hands on a teacher, lad, ever. No wonder your missus bossed you about, so you're a pussy. Jordan, back off, lad. I promise you, I will stick you on your ass. I can't let her talk to you like that, Steve, can you? Especially when she's banging to eating your ass behind your back. Jordan. Jordan, just, just, just listen to me for a Sorry for. It's all right, Hi, Nick. Yeah. Sorry about before. She hasn't told me the whole truth exactly. <laughs> what are you doing? What's all this in the car? What's my stuff doing in the car? What are you doing? She can't come back. Not just now. Nick, she lives with you. That's her home. Dad, I thought you were coming to get me. Yeah, Eve says. That... Eve says. After what you did. It was an accident. I know, darling, but... So it was an accident. But she says she can't be in the house with Chloe. So what do you want me to do? Well, you can't do this. Why not? Why not your turn? Turn? Chloe, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You can't do this. It's all right, love. We'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. You don't want me here. No, I do. I do. Of course I do. But you won't come in. Of course I am. You're Missy Booth. I just thought we could hang out. Just hang out? <laughs> sure. I didn't call you for that. Is that what you think of me? Is that what all the boys think of me? Well, I'm not judging you. I'm not. 
Come here. You know Nasreen? I'll kill you if I. Yeah, I know. She's not all that, you know. She thinks she's way better than me. Everyone at that new school thinks they're way better than me. I'm just scum. So sleep with her for me. Oh. <laughs>